Hey guys, this is Lisa Tedder with Tedder Bear Stamping and today I'm going to share with you a card that I am not going to show you right off the bat because I'm just going to make it and then you will see. Um, also, I am a Stampin' Up! De uh, demonstrator and if you live in the United States and in, are in search of a new demonstrator, just let me know and I can either mail you out a catalog or uh, whatever else you might have uh, that you might need help in. All right, so let's get started. We're going to start with a piece of eight and a half by uh, five and a, or eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock. Sorry, and we're going to cut it in half, but doing it at the four and a quarter because we want it to be long. And let me show you on my my uh, trimmer is that I printed off a a, a ruler and then remarked the lines and put it under here so that I could see on both sides. And then on this side, I just put um, a piece of white cardstock just to, so I could see the black numbers easier. It just helps me. So let's start at four and a quarter and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And then we're going to score it at two and three quarters on this side. Make sure you don't use your cutter, use your scoring. And then you're going to flip it around and do it at two and three quarters on this side also. Oh, I almost did the cutter. Okay, so then when you go to fold it, they meet in the middle. So it's pretty nice. All right. So we are going to do the front flaps first, and we're going to use on that two pieces of black that are at two and five eighths by four and an eighth. And I'm going to go ahead and use my stamp and seal. Now this is brand new and there is kind of a learning curve to it. You can do with it like you used to do with the um, uh, fast fuse and check it each time to make sure it breaks. But I found a way that I like and you can either follow it or not. It's up to you. Um, I just thought it was easy. So you just run it and then just use your wrist to break it off. And then it's always right there at the top. Now I'm not sure if this would be hard for people with like wrist problems. I didn't think about that, but so far I'm okay with my wrists, so I'm just going to keep doing it that way. All right, so you're going to layer that on here, and let's do this one also. Don't know why I turned it over. I'm sure you all get that too. I always turn my paper over even if it's blank. All right. So let's put that on here also. Okay, and then you're gonna come in with two pieces of the DSP, and these are from the um, Pampered Pets, and I thought I had turned my phone off, uh, Pampered Pets DSP. And these are four by two and a half. And we are going to go ahead and put that on also. Now you got to make sure you know which ways you're up and down because you want your fish and your hearts to look the right way up. And let me turn my phone off. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the other side. Making sure that it's going the same way since they are across from each other. Okay, so now we have a really pretty front. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the inside just to show you, and then we'll do the rest. All right, so you're gonna come in with three and three quarters by five piece of white, and you are going to bring in the die that has the cute little paw prints on it. And you're going to, what I like to do is put, see if you can see, hold on, I'm gonna drag this down so you can see. Let's find out where my middle is, which is two and a half, and then I'm going to, I know this is upside down, 
but I'm, I want to make sure that I have this in the middle and then the next ones won't be so hard. It'll be easy. All right, so I'm going to tape this on here and then I'm going to run it through the machine twice. So it's going to go here in the middle and then once and once. So let me be right back. All right, so I am coming in with this and I wanted to show you. So I've already got the middle here and then you just want to put this in the middle of the two sides and hopefully the same distance up as what you did before okay and then one more looks about right Isn't that cute? All right, let me put this away. And then we're going to go ahead and stamp on here uh, the sentiment. Um, I will have down underneath which where it's from. I'm, my mind just isn't thinking quite where I got it from. And this says the good things in life are better with you. And that's done in real red. All right, so that's going to go on top of a piece of black that's five and a quarter by four. And I'm going to try to get it on the bottom here just a little bit. and tuck that around and then place that on and then with the black background you can see the footprints much better isn't that cute all right so then we're going to go ahead and put that on the inside make sure it's the right way it would not be good if we had it upside down Okay, so now we have this pretty card that opens up like this. Okay, so now we're going to come in with some um, strips. We're going to have three red at one by four, three black at seven eighths by three and seven eighths, and three whites that are going to be three quarters by three and three quarters. Now the white you're going to need to run through the machine and get the old world paper 3D envelope or folder and run this through. And I've already done that. So let's grab those. Here they are. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and layer each one of these. And I'll probably be speeding up through this, but... Um, just go ahead and keep an eye and I'll be right back after I'm done putting all these together. Okay, so I have all these together and we're going to lay them on to the front and I know that my cutting on these this one's a little I mean they're not all exactly the same I don't really care I'm one of those people that don't it's just as long as it's pretty I'm good with it all right so we're gonna lay them all upside down on here because I want to show you something all right 
So you want to make sure that they are equal apart from each other in the middle and then equal on here. And we're just going to do the middle one first. So leave these two and then we are going to um, do that up here. We're going to have that just be taped on up here. And so this is why I turn it upside down so that you can see exactly where it stops. Alright, so I want to make sure that these are on there straight so that I can put these in the middle. Alright. Which I don't have it exactly. Alright, let's see. As long as we get it as close as we can. Alright, so that one is attached on this side. So these two will be attached on this side. They're going to kind of scissor together and make a really pretty nice opening. So as long as the, the, the middle is down, you'll be able to see where to put this one. Okay, and then since we put the, the uh, adhesive on upside down, we can see totally where, as long as it lines up, where they go. Alright, so I'm going to just move this so I get this right. See, and I have it upside down, but don't worry, I haven't done any stamping yet. <laughs> Let's go there. Alright, so now that's how it opens. Isn't that kind of cool? Alright. Then we are going to come in with stamps. And I've already stamped the kitty that's laying down, or with the, the big eyes, the really proud kitty, and the, the mouse. So we're going to go ahead and color these. And what I'm going to do is for the kitty that's sitting up, I want him to be gray and white. I'm going to go ahead and come in a little bit closer so that you can see while I'm coloring. Oh, that is so big. Okay, <laughs> that's what I wanted. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave his ears white in the middle. Oops, I didn't want to do dark. Well, we'll start with this right here because that's darker. We're going to go with light. And this is smoky slate. All right, and then I'm going to do his paws, and I'm gonna leave the front paw just a little bit white, just because I had a cat that had a white paw, and he was so cute. All right. Okay, and then I'm gonna do just a little bit of the tail. And then I'm going to come in with my color lifter and make those blend in nicer. And I did go out of the lines, but it's okay. This just makes it blend a little bit nicer and look more soft. Okay, then for this kitty, I wanted him to have stripes because I've always seen gray kitties with stripes. And they already put some stripes in here, so I'm just going to, with the dark smoky slate, add stripes. Not to his head, just to his body. And then I'm going to come in and color everything with the lighter. Trying not to get the eyes because they have that white in it. Now what I do is I keep just going over it so that the lines that I drew are less noticeable. Because when you see these kitties, the stripes really aren't like in your face. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and color the mouse. Now he the mouse I'm going to fussy cut out because we don't have a die for that. Okay, 
So we have the mouse. We're going to stick him right up here. I'm going to go ahead and pull back so that I can bring in my big shot and cut these two out. All right. I'm going to see if I can do them both at the same time because that would make it so much nicer. I will need to get some tape. So now I'm going to come in with my card and we are going to add this kitty in the middle and I'm going to add dimensionals to the back. He's going to go right in the middle. He's very proud of himself. Okay, then the mouse is going to get a mini, which I don't have right now, so I'm just going to cut a small piece off of here, which I have already done. And he's going to go right here. And then the kitty with his eyes wide open is going to go right on this side. like shocked that that guy is sitting right there for him. All right, then we're going to come in with some red rhinestones and put them whoop, to here. See if I can get it lined up. That's not bad. And two on this side. Now I know you've seen before where I've come in with my 3M dual lock. I'm going to do that again because I want these two to be uh, put down so that it will stay closed. And all I do is trim off just a tiny piece like this, cut it in half. Then they're both exactly the same, so you just stick them together and take off one of the sticky sides. And we're just going to stick that right there. Take off the other side. We're going to do the other one first before we close it. All right, so now that's ready to go. This one needs to be cut in half. Ever since I was introduced, thank you, Gwen, um, to do a lock, I haven't gone back. So much better than the other uh, that you can get to help you close things because this just is clear and it doesn't pull on your cards. Whoops. Okay, so now the sticky is done on both and I just am going to close it and then push that down. And then, so this is the card. Now I want you to hear, because it's, I do this every time I do do a lock. You just close it. It makes a little snapping noise. All right, so there's my card. I hope you like this. I really enjoy it. I didn't put it down on this side because I wanted it to be able to open up and this would be easier just with the two done. So uh, come back again and make sure you subscribe so that I know that you liked what you saw and I'll see you next time. Thank you.